everyone, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a part two of my Can I Still Do Gymnastics video and the last video I posted six months ago and I said on that video that if it got 5,000 likes I would do a part two and that video got 22,000 likes so here's part two. So before I get on into the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a thing and turn on notifications so you really don't miss a thing. Without any further ado, let's jump on into the video. So before I get on to the main part of the video, which is going to be trying to recreate gymnastic skills that I did back when I was a little ute. <laughs> First of all, I'm going to do just like a rundown, so I'm going to do a little bit of progressions of like floor skills. So yeah, let's see what floor skills I can do first. just the basic skills that pretty much everyone who does gymnastics at at least any competitive level is able to do and I mean I was able to do them just not how I used to be able to not as neat and as pristine I guess not that I was ever super pristine I was always kind of messy next I just wanted to see what kind of jumps and like turns I could do which you know I stuck to the basic ones but I just wanted to see if I could do it or not if I was still flexible and I am quite a flexible person so this wasn't too hard for me. One thing I know for sure what we have is something worth fighting for with bad news knocking at my door but I like it like that we go all in I found that I haven't really lost that much flexibility in my legs in terms of like splits but my back flexibility is definitely not as good as it used to be. So now let's get on to the main part of the video where I'm going to be trying to recreate skills that I used to be able to do only now with my much lesser gymnastics ability. So first of all we have this clip. Which is a round off flick, 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 or round off, back handspring, back handspring, back handspring, and this was in the first ever, well, one of the first gymnastics videos that I ever posted, so it was a long time ago, um, so let's see if I can still do it. Everybody, can you feel the groove? Grab somebody. It just wasn't as good as it used to be. I kind of felt like heavy on my hands and heavy on my feet and I definitely didn't have the correct form, but I tried. I don't think I did too bad. The next thing was an aerial, so let's see if I can still do it. have done aerials like it wasn't something I had to work super super hard for I just one day I could do it and then after that I could always do it and I would always do like front walkover aerial or cartwheel aerial or aerial 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 like I would always just play around with it and I think because I've always enjoyed doing aerials so much 
I still do them and therefore my aerials have probably got a little bit better even rather than the rest of my gymnastics skills which have got worse. Next was a front semi step out round off flick tuck back. Now this skill is really hard for me because front summies I have never been good at. When I got to the level, I think it was level 4 or 5 plus, I think it was level 4, I had this in my floor routine and I just could not do it. The literal only time I've done it and it's actually worked is the clip that I'm going to show you which is from the competition where I competed it. Other than that, front summies just are not my thing, I've never been good at them. So as you can see, after a few attempts, the front summies were not going well, so I decided dip the front summy for now, like I tried, we're just going to have to see if I can do the round off flick tuck back. So the round off flick tuck back obviously I could still do, but again, I used to be a lot better, it felt kind of low and kind of like, kind of hurt to be honest, you know? Next, I wanted to try a couple of bar skills. So the bar skills I decided to try, I just wanted to see which of my old bar routines I could still do. So the first bar routine is my level 6 bar routine, and that is like my um, bar routine that I got the highest score on when I did gymnastics. So I wanted to see if I could still do that. And it's pretty easy, but the strength stuff, I could not do. saw the chin up and leg lift were so bad I just don't even want to think about that anymore and then I wanted to try my slightly harder bar routine again it's nothing crazy I'm not going to try and do like giants or anything because I do know that I'm a little rusty and I don't want to get hurt but so I tried to do my full I think it was my five plus possibly level four bar routine um so yeah take a look at this bit of beam as well even though I'm not that confident so I just did a little bit so I tried to do a cartwheel first of all and a cartwheel took back off the beam with the pad on and the reason I didn't really do that much on beam is because I'm not that confident on beam honestly and I never have been I was just worried about hurting myself because I know that my skills are not where they used to be video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and like I said if you haven't already subscribe because you don't want to miss anything if you enjoyed this video get it to 10,000 10,000 likes and if you do then I will make a part three where I guess I could try some harder skills maybe I could get a little bit more coaching to try and get me back to where I used to be and see if I can do that or not because I just don't know if I can. Make sure you follow all my social medias which will be linked in the description box below and I will see you in my next video. Oh, rhyming. Bye guys.